Day two, wearing Stan Smith boost. So far, so good. Mad comfy, been wearing them since yesterday. Warm for like 15 hours yesterday. So far today, it's been like six. So definitely, definitely feel just like Ultra Boost, honestly. Um, they're super duper light, so they don't really feel like anything. And if you wear them, like I do, lace them up pretty tight. Uh, shit, I'm going through trees and shit. Uh, <laughs> they feel pretty damn good, and you don't really even notice you're, you're really wearing them. I guess that makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna go home and do like a full, full on review for you guys, but just wanted to get you guys some scenes out here in La Jolla. Very nice, very nice. She like left me, she's like ready to go home already and shit. <laughs> I'll be back to you in a little bit though. What's good everybody, it's your boy Daigle Soul, made it back home, and now I'm gonna give you guys my comparison review between the Stan Smith Boost and the Ultra Boost. And just for, you know, reference sake, I went ahead and did the 3.0 because they are the newest Ultra Boost that uh, Adidas has come out with. Just based off just simple first looks, you can tell, obviously, different silhouette, different materials. On the Ultra Boost, you're gonna have that prime knit upper, but on the Stan Smith, you're gonna have that very nice leather on the upper. The midsoles are gonna be the same, both gonna have that boost midsole, obviously that's the only thing that ties these two really together. Um, I think it's cool, I think it's just like the Stan Smith is the original, the OG Adidas, an OG model that they put with the new technology. Then you also obviously have the new technology in the Ultra Boost, and it's kinda cool to see them, you know, bringing back older styles with the boost technology which is honestly something that i called a while back i was talking to my boy and i was like look just adidas is going to take this wave they're going to bring back old sneakers and just add boost to them and resell them bitches and just make them dope and that's what they did with these ones and i'm actually really glad they did um i've never really been a fan of stan smith i've never owned a pair i'll be honest um never really owned many adidas other than like the kobe's and certain other various models back in the day try the superstars weren't really my thing um but since the Ultra Boost came out, I tried to stay away from them. I didn't like the hype at first, but I gave in, tried them on, fell in love, and the Boost technology has since then been one of my favorite types of shoes to wear. Anything with Boost in it, other than the you know silhouette of the shoe, the main difference is going to be the price difference. Stan Smith, they're gonna hit you for 120 bucks plus tax, whereas the Ultra Boost are gonna hit you for about 180 plus tax. Now, as far as weight goes, I'm gonna give the nod to uh, Stan Smith. They feel a little bit lighter than the Ultra Boost. Not by much, but there's definitely a difference in weight. Um, felt a lot better on feet. The thing is with these, it felt like more of a natural shoe. I am flat footed, so these being a flat shoe, I felt a lot more natural when I walked in my stride. It felt a lot more natural. Whereas the Ultra Boost, because as you can see, the toe box curves up, you have that irregularity in it. And I know it's for you know running and being active, so it's supposed to help your, your stride and everything, and I get that. But for me, walking and standing all day at work and whatnot or going out, um, these ones did feel a little bit better. No knock on the Ultra Boost, of course, but out of the two, I would prefer to wear these ones all day than the Ultra Boost. With that being said, since there is a difference in the stride, these ones are definitely a lot more bouncy. When you wear these, if you've worn them, you probably felt that bounce in your step. These ones, you still get that boost, you still have a little bit of that bounce, but not as much because they are, like I said, a flat shoe. It's more of just like a regular, a regular foot, a regular stride. As far as materials and quality goes, I can't say one, I know obviously two different materials, so that's a given, that's obvious, shouldn't have to mention that. But as far as quality goes, um, I do believe they did a really good job quality wise on the Ultra Boost. I've had no complaints on any of the pairs I've owned and the Stan Smith follows suit with that. The quality on these is great. The leather quality, the synthetic uh, suede on the back, it's beautiful on this shoe. 
Um, quality wise, very, very nice. One thing that I will say, because I know people talk about wearability, um, Stan Smith, I feel I can wear with a lot more stuff. I can dress this up or down. You guys have probably heard me say this over and over in videos. I like sneakers I can wear up or down, meaning I can wear to chill with the homies, or if I'm going somewhere like a nice dinner, I can wear them. Obviously not like a dress shoe, but something that's a little bit more grown, I guess you could say. Now one thing also, the Ultra Boosts you guys can see, they don't really show much wear, you know what I mean? Even on the insole, I've worn these a bunch of times, my insole is still intact. Um, there's no real creasing on the toe box, like it's very hard to really show wear on Prime Knit. But on the leather, you can definitely see in this video that there is wear on the toe box, there is creasing. The sides are, are kind of, you know, starting to show wear. Um, not, it's not bad, of course, but you can definitely tell they've been worn. And I feel like these are like Jordan 1s. The more they're worn, the more character it gives them, and they end up looking better once they've been worn a lot more. I think that's what these are going to be like. Once I wear them in a lot more, you're going to see they've been worn, you're going to see the creases and yada, and yada yada, but they're still going to be a very dope, very nice looking shoe. And that's what I look forward to in these. So, all in all, um, if you like the Ultra Boost, I will say you're gonna love the Stan Smith. Like I said, I'm flat footed, so I typically don't like, um, you know, flat shoes with no comfort. But getting these, they're definitely a 180 from the original Stan Smiths. A lot more comfort in these, a lot more wearability, and they feel a lot lighter as well. So, there you guys have it. I hope my video helped. Um, you can definitely find both of these on Adidas websites. Not this colorway right here, of course, but you can definitely find other colorways of the Adidas, Adidas 3.0 on Adidas website, as well as the white and the black pair of Stan Smiths. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to leave any comments below. If I miss something you guys want me to talk about, feel free to leave a comment. I'll definitely answer any questions that I might have left unanswered in this video. But as always, I appreciate you guys. And until the next time, I'm out. Peace.